Well, now we certainly know about the importance of including real foods in our life. Well, we also know it is so important to move. And yeah. we hear about different crazes all the time. You got your Taibo, you got your... The, okay, well, we've heard, many of us have heard about Pilates, but yes. we've actually never had it on the show. So we're really excited to introduce this concept today and a, a twist to it as well with personal Pilates owner, Cindy Vervak. It's nice to meet you, Cindy. Thank nice you for being you. here. Thank you Welcome for having me. Welcome to the show. Thanks. Well, Cindy, let's uh, start from the beginning because, okay. as I said, we haven't had Pilates on the show before. Okay. So, can you take us uh, the background of Pilates and how this craze got started? Maybe we should sit on the couch. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, it could be a okay. while. So, in a, in a nutshell, Pilates has been around for 60, 70 years. Created by a little German man who immigrated into the U.S was immediately popular with dancers because dancers, chronic injuries, he was able to fix their bodies and get them back out dancing quickly using his own um, fitness regime as well as equipment that he created. So fantastic work. Yeah. And as I was telling you, um, I'm fortunate. I'm one of a very, very few Canadians that had the opportunity to actually go and train with a first-generation teacher who worked in or was a student in the original Pilates studio back, wow. you know, back in the 50s or yeah. the 40s. And his name was Ron Fletcher. He was a modern dancer. So that's where my Pilates training comes from. And it's 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 great to see Pilates growing in Ottawa. Mm -hmm. It is finally like we've got six or seven studios now, and we're getting there. Yeah. We're getting there. We're well, about 10 you're, years you're talking Pilates with a bit of a twist today, correct? Yes. Explain what we're doing today. This is not Pilates. I, at um, all? Not at okay. all. Not at all. I, um, I discovered this work through another teacher here in Ottawa. There are only two of us that are involved in gyrokinesis training. I did one class and felt like a million bucks. I couldn't get over how great I felt. So, excuse me. So, I immediately started pursuing the work in Manhattan. And um, this work was created by a dancer so similar that it's coming from somebody with that sort of background. Right. He had chronic injuries. He had, you know, three, I think, three herniated discs in his spine. So couldn't move anymore, couldn't dance. He sat on a stool and he created a movement program for his own chronic pain. And from that comes the, the gyrokinesis work. And this is a mix of a few different things, It is. Correct? He sort of pulled from, he's from the 70s, so he was a dancer in the 70s. He pulls from Tai Chi, Pilates, yoga, and swimming. So the class is, uh, is formulated that half is spent on the studio, and then the second half of the class is actually done on a mat. And just like Pilates, um, there's uh, work without equipment, because okay. this really isn't equipment, it's a stool. <clears throat> right. Or there's also equipment, and that's called gyrotonic, and it is big, crazy looking equipment that looks like torture racks. Okay, so, <laughs> so, this, so this is that, that's, I mean, because you do see that in Pilates. You see yes. regular classes that everyone takes part, yes. or you see these machines. Which that, I have, yes. So you can do both of those. In you Pilates, can do both. you can do both of those in this. Yeah, Pilates, you can do the basic mat work, or okay. you can do equipment work. And okay. that's where you would go to a studio to do equipment work. With gyrokinesis, anybody can have it. You can sit on a chair anywhere and, and do this foundation work. This is the foundation work, and then there's the, the alternative, which is the equipment work. But this is what we're focusing on today, and we're just focusing on the stool work. Let's do it. Let's okay. do it. Should you give us I'm a demo? excited. I'm going to tell you something. I had my massage therapist come over to do a class with me, and okay. the next day she emailed me, and she said, Oh my God, I felt like I had a massage. <laughs> oh, I'm wow, coming really, from my massage eh? therapist. It wow, feels great. So what I'm going to get you to do, guys, is just um, have a seat on your stool. Mm -hmm. And you want to sit, wiggle back and forth, and feel your sits bones. This is going to start to correct your seated posture. So how okay. many of us sit and it's like, oh, yeah, later, you we're there. Yeah, you you cannot that. do that. When you start doing gyrokinesis, you can't slouch. You stop slouching. Mm -hmm. So we're sitting on the stool and just wiggle back and forth. You want your feet to be really, really sort of centered. Okay. Normally, you wouldn't do it in lovely <laughs> heels. Here's They're the gorgeous. Thing is that if I take my shoes off, my, I'll, I won't be square. That's which, okay. Which is better. That, no, do, I'll do it. Like well, this? you know, I take them off. Okay. Yeah, I take All them right. off because they, they're going to be high. Uh, okay. The, the stool will be high because I'm very short. Okay. So the first, but the first. I'll no, go you're you're end. good as long as you can feel your sits bones there and your your feet are planted. Okay. You're good. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to teach you guys, I want you to just reach behind your head, open your elbows wide, and we're going to do. It's almost like a kayaking motion. It's sort of like a figure eight, or just sort of a shifting, a kayaking motion. You're going back and forth from side to side. Now you guys keep doing that. I'm going to come around and correct you, okay? Okay. <laughs> keep doing that. I, I think so, we're going to need it. So breath is important. Forward, no, or? not really. Oh, breath okay. is really important. So slow it down. You're going to inhale on one side 
exhale on the other side. So gyrokinesis done by elite athletes as rehab by dancers, hugely popular with dancers. In fact, the I've number- I've never even heard of it before. The, I know, no, me I neither. know. You know, the number of gyrotonic studios in the US has tripled in the last couple of I years. I bet you it's big in California. It's Is huge. It? In New York, California, da uh, you know, actors are doing it. So of course that draws a lot of attention to it. It's and really you can feel there's obviously a lot of stretching involved in it's this. It's all about stretching. All of the work on the stool is about about lengthening the spine and moving the spine in the seven natural elements of movement. So, you know, look at Ottawa. We've got a lot of people who are sitting at desks all day. Oh. We never move. Yeah. So let's just take that first movement, guys. And now what I want you to do is arch and curl your spine. So arching means lifting up and really stretching and then curling, you're just gonna round your spine and look down. So we inhale as we arch and then exhale just to curl good keep doing that guys inhale to arch this does feel like yoga a little bit that's it nice exhale to curl you know when i first did it and i i have friends that are that are uh, amazing yoga teachers here in ottawa but yoga for me is always kind of difficult and what i love about gyrokinesis is that it's it flows there's no stop and once you know the repertoire of exercises, it's like a dance because it just continually moves. One more time like that um, and then, yeah. Sorry, yeah. can I ask a question, Cindy? Yeah. So uh, I'm thinking in terms of some of the yoga things like Bikram, for example, which one goes into another. Yes. Is it the same idea? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, it flows really beautifully. So I'm just So teaching once you, you learn the pattern, it's the same pattern every time. Yes. Okay, Absolutely. so there's not a lot, there's no stopping between no. exercises. No. So you have a routine and you go through. So That's how long right. would, a, would a normal routine take? Well, there's a 60 minute format or a 90 minute format for okay. advanced. Yeah, so, you know, can we do mm -hmm. one more? Do we have time? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. All yeah, right. Sure. Are we going in order, pretty much? No, I'm not, no? because okay. I want to take you through the big ones. The next okay. one's called the next one's called the wave. So, guys, flat back. You're going to come forward with a flat back, and then curl from your tailbone and round yourself back all the way up on your chair. Oh yeah, I feel that. So you're going to come down flat back with an exhale and inhale to come back up. The neat thing about gyrokinesis, and I think it's, it's being called the new generation Pilates, is that the founder is still very much alive and active in his work. So he's sort of like the modern day Joseph Pilates. I feel very, very lucky to have the opportunity. Yeah. It's really so great It in the is, morning. and curl to come back up. You're right. I mean, as far as a, a, a morning workout, this mm. this is the way to oh, wake fantastic. up. Reminds to get me of like, day uh, what are they called? Sun salutations. Kind of, yeah. kind of, but you can sit on a stool. Cool. You can't yeah. do this. You can do it at your floor. desk, everyone. You can curl that's, yourself no, all the way. That's true. I mean, we, you're so right. We spend so much time sitting on our butts with in front bad of posture, now, like this, because we're so tired. Exactly. Listen, this was a great education. Yeah. Thank you so it much. Was. We Thank hope you'll you. come back and show us more moves. Next time we'll do the mat. Love it. How's that? Okay. So. PersonalPilates.ottawa.com. Dot Ottawa.com. <laughs> if you want more information, we're gonna have her back and do some more moves. I feel better already. Yeah, I know. All right, time for a little nutrition with Corey Keeley. Don't go away. <laughs> or are we? Having